Man, Man United and Ineos, these new owners that they have are absolutely cooking, ladies and gentlemen. Man United have been cooking for a large portion of this transfer window. They have been talking about getting more deals done. And today they've gotten three deals done. And this is massive, massive for Manchester United. And if I'm a, if I was a Manchester United fan right now, I would be gassed. Now you could talk about some of these uh, things that they've done in the past, but today what Manchester United have done. If Pedro Neto is going for 51 million, they've signed a center back and a right back for less than that. They've signed two players from Bayern Munich, and also got shifted off Aaron Wambasaka. Now, before we go any further, let me just break down everything for you guys. Do me a favor. Please do hit that like button. Please do hit that subscribe button. And if you're new here, Eagle Talks Football, my name's Eagle. Check out the channel. But yeah, let's, let's get straight into it. First, you got to know Aaron Wambasaka is headed to West Ham and Maserawi and, of course, uh, the lit are headed to Manchester United. Now, before we go any further, let me just break down to you guys what happened in this deal. Let me go to David Onstein's tweet and that will explain everything. David Onstein has reported that Manchester United have agreed two fees with Bayern over De Lit and Nazarawi. The, the deal for De Lit is quite simple. He will be getting a five-year deal plus one. He'll be going for 45 million plus 5 million in add-ons. So 50 million potentially there. Maserati will be going for 15 million plus 5 million in add-ons. So overall 20 million there. So altogether 60 million for the two of them. Then they will also be selling Aaron Wambasaka for another 15 million pounds. This just makes it so a situation where they basically get the two of them. If you look at this net transfer, this whole situation, they're getting two players for 60 million and they're moving off Aaron Wembasaka, who they no longer need for 15 million. This is a great deal all around for Manchester United, West Ham, Bayern Munich. Everyone's winning coming out of this. And let's just quickly speak about the individual pieces to this deal. First thing that I want to speak about before I speak about the delay and 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 uh Maserati situation. Let me just speak about Aaron Wambasaka. Them getting 15 million from West Ham for Aaron Wambasaka is really good return on investment as they paid a ridiculous 55 million. The player wasn't really playing, he wasn't really part of their plans. Usually these kind of players are tough to shift off, especially with the wages that Aaron Wambasaka was probably on at Manchester United. Now in US and the new people behind the scenes, not only are they able to get good transfer fees for Maserawi and Delit, but they're also able to get a reasonable fee in 15 million in return for Enwan Basaka. Like we are struggling to get rid of the guy likes of Eddie and Ketia and Reese Nelson. And these guys are just able to shift off Enwan Basaka quite easily. So just going to show you how highly West Ham probably rate Enwan Basaka and also how good they've been in getting this deal over the line. Next, um, let's talk about Delit. Delit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's times where I thought the lit was, was a waste uh, of money, especially when he uh, went from Juventus to uh, to uh, Bayern. I didn't think he was that good. But right now, I'm looking at Manchester United, and I'm saying they got themselves a, a reasonable uh, mid, uh, a reasonable uh, two players coming in, especially with the lit and Lenny Euro coming in this window. You've now got Lenny Euro, who can who can be the main man going forward, and Delit, who's still only 24 years old, who who's previously worked with this manager that can come in and improve this team de defensively. You you've lost Varan, you've lost um, some other players. You you can get you can move off Harry Maguire and and Lindelof. You have Delit, you have Lenny Euro, you have Rasmus Hoyland. Uh, why did I say Rasmus Hoyland? You have um friggin. Uh, What's his name? Lissandro Martinez. You have three really good center backs. You you might need a couple. You might need to keep one of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Johnny Evans in them. So you'll have like four reasonable center backs. But for the foreseeable future, the lit, Lenny Euro, and, and Lissandro Martinez, reasonable center back uh, trio that you can rotate and try to get game time out of. And I think the lit is going to be a big, big, big help for Manchester United, especially not having to put so much pressure on Lenny Euro since he's coming back from an injury that he sustained in preseason versus Arsenal. Now, Maserawi, this is a different kind of situation. I personally need to check Maserawi's uh, how much game time he played at Bayern because it seemed like he was clearly out of favor at Bayern. He didn't really 
feature much. He only got like 19 games, 19 games. Yeah, and I don't even know how many of those games he started. In the Champions League, he played a lot of games. Uh, it, look, it clearly looks like maybe he, he was played more in the Champions League than he was in the league. He He's also a big, big part of, of what do you call it, the Ajax team that Ten Hag previously had that did so well back then too. So another player that Ten Hag is familiar with, I think this is a good signing and they're just signing more ballers. They just need to make sure that they can work out this guy's injury record because he does have a little bit of an injury record that they need to fix up and see if they can try to keep themselves in a better situation with injuries because his injury history is a negative. Um, if I'm not mistaken, in 2022, he was injured uh, He was injured several times. And even in 2023, he was injured several times. Uh, most recently, he had an injury back end of 2024 uh, w- where he missed a couple games also. But overall, he is he his injuries are, you, you could probably manage it. I think at Bayern, he had a couple injuries in 2023. At Ajax, in the back end, he was starting to get a lot of injuries. But of course, when Ten Hag was when Ten Hag was when, uh, when Ten Hag was in charge when this guy was there, so they they are familiar with him. I think Manchester United overall they smashed this whole situation out of the park. I think getting two players of that quality for 55, 51 million is great business and. I'm just intrigued to see what Manchester United do next as they are looking to get uh, Sander Berg. And don't forget, Sander Berg is a player that Liverpool, Arsenal have all been linked to in the past and, and this is a player who has played for Sheffield United, he's played for Burnley, he's not played for the top, top clubs. So it's going to be interesting to see if Sander Berg is the next one to join because Manchester United's team next season could look very, very different. It could look very, very different with 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 the likes of Delit, Euro, Evans, Maguire, center back pairings. You can have Shaw on one side, Maserati and Della on the other side. The only area where I think you guys need to still improve in, I would say your right wing. I don't rate Anthony or Ahmad to say that they're on that level yet. And Sancho, he I don't know if Sancho's gonna get much game time on the right. So maybe you need to improve there. And your midfield can still maybe improve a little bit more. So Sanderberg is definitely going to improve you guys. But I don't think he is the best. I probably, you need Fafana and Sanderberg if you guys are serious. But yeah, overall, Manchester United, you guys did well. Let's see Let's see how it goes from here. But people in the chat, let me know. What do you guys think Manchester United is going to do from now until the end of the window? And I know there's a lot of Arsenal fans watching. Do, uh, do you guys think Manchester United building something special if you guys are rivals on a real keep it unbiased for a second you can big, you can pick up a rival especially when you see them actually doing something because if arsenal were in i remember when arsenal were in their position uh, a year ago or two years ago uh, a couple years ago we were building no one was giving us credit i kind of want to give them credit because I, I i see the building blocks of something good potentially happening it just it might you never know if those fruits can grow I mean, those those plants can grow. But yeah, I'm out of here, people. That's it for today. Manchester United are cooking. Let's see, let's see how far they go. I'm out.